Hey, this is Cece Winans, and you're listening to The Christian Music Guy. It's a song that, you know, Jacob, it reminds us, we have to be reminded as believers uh, who we serve. I, we just forget sometimes <laughs> that that he does have the final say, you know? On today's episode, we chat with Cece Winans. Cece's brand new album, More Than This, releases in April. Okay. And so we did sit down with uh, Cece Winans, a legend in Christian uh, music. Uh, we grew up listening to her, her and her brother, BB. And, uh, you know, she is um, a staple in Christian music. She did a few years back released probably one of the best worship albums uh, out there. Believe for it. Uh, and a phenomenal album. But uh, she uh, has new music out. She just released a single a few weeks back called That's My King. Her album, which releases in a few weeks, um, called More Than This, will be out uh, wherever you uh, stream music. And so uh, we, we talked. We talked about Belief For It. talked about her new, her new stuff and what it means. And so check out this interview. Well, on today's show, we have the one, the only CC Winans. CC, thank you so much for chatting with me. You got it. Thank you for chatting with me. Yeah. Uh, so I, I want to start off the uh, interview uh, going back to um, your Belief For It album. And I'm sure you've heard a gazillion stories uh, about the one I'm going to tell you, but your, your song, Believe For It, it really uh, saved our family from a hard time. Back in 2021, mm. I had COVID and was mm. hospitalized for two weeks in the hospital. And they Jesus. told my wife, um, you know, basically prepare your children. You know, it's not looking good. Um, the next steps mm. is, you know, death. And so God needed to turn it around. You know, he was either going to mm -hmm. heal me here uh, or heal me in heaven. And so. Right. My wife, obviously, she heard your 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 new your new music, your belief for everything, mm -hmm. but it came on the radio at the exact moment she was leaving the hospital. Now, she heard it and she wept, and she my mom was in town, mm -hmm. so they got home, Thank turned you. it on, and just worshipped, worshipped, and played mm -hmm. it over and over and over. And she said, Jacob, she called me and she says, you know the song "Believe for It" by CC. I said, yeah. And she says, you are the way when there seems to be no way. We trust Hallelujah. in you. God, you had the final say. And he go, and she says, God has the final say. And your time's not up. And God turned it around, healed me. And obviously, he had, he had better plans. But that song, I'm telling you, Hallelujah. really, really ministered to, to our family. It really Praise did. God. And so every time You're that here. song comes on, she just turns it up. She <laughs> said, this is, she's like, this is my jam. I That's said, yes, right. ma'am. <laughs> That's right. Let her keep turning it up. She got her husband back home. Yeah. Woo. yeah, yeah. So God is good. And um, wow. thank you. You know, we're not here to talk about that, but you're, no, you know, thank that, you for you being, know, that's exactly why we're here to talk. Yeah. Well, about. thank you for that's being awesome. obedient and, uh, you know, hearing the voice of the Lord and, and help mm -hmm. uh, putting that song out because it's, I mean, not just my story, but so many people's uh, situations and stories. And so, yeah. Uh, to God yeah. be the glory on that one. To God be the glory. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. That's encouraging. Yeah. yeah. So, that's really encouraging. Uh, your new song. That's mm -hmm. my king is uh wow. Yeah, I thought Belief for it album was gonna be <laughs> all that, but then I heard this song, I was like, All right, she's stepping it up <laughs> even more. <laughs> and uh I was like, Man, that is going to be the song of 2024. Uh that's mm -hmm. my king. And so mm -hmm. that is an incredible, incredible song. And uh could you awesome. uh, tell our listeners about that's my king? Wow, it's a powerful song. I, I really can't take any credit for it at all except i said yes that i'm yeah. gonna do this song um kyle kyle lee the producer brought this song to me and um i was like oh my god this 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 is exactly what we need this is what we want um mm. it's a song that you know jacob it reminds us we have to be reminded as believers 
uh, who we serve. Sure. I, we just forget sometimes <laughs> that that he does have the final say. You know, yeah. we mm-hmm. forget that he's not nervous about what we face and what we go through. He's already made a way of escape. The cross did it. And because of that, we belong to the father because of that. Jesus is our Lord and our King. And, and he's everything we need. He's our healer. He's our provider. And we, we really don't have to look anywhere else for what we need. We just have to be in him. And, And this song is such a great, proclamation is such a great um reminder but it, but it, you know you got to dance while you're listening to it it just inspires you you got to brag a little bit on who god is you know yeah, uh yeah. i love the attitude i love the fun but i love the i love the boldness uh, of this song um and i believe this record you know that not just that's my king but the record that that is coming I believe the overall theme is authority mm. as believers. I believe for it was, was all about faith Yeah. Um, because of where we were, because of like yourself fighting for your lives, mm-hmm. uh, fighting for your life and your family fighting for, for you. Um, the faith had to be there. We had to remember that God can handle COVID. He can handle sure. a lot of things. And I know a lot of people lost loved ones, Yeah. you yeah. know, um, so, so your faith is, is so important as a believer that we call those things that aren't as though they were. While you, while you were still in there, your wife began to declare that you're coming out, you know, yeah. that is not over. And so I think just like that was for faith, this is for the authority to remind us that it was finished on the cross. He's not still finishing it. It was finished on the cross, but we have to take it and we have to declare it proclaim the name of Jesus and walk in the power that he's already provided. And I think that's my King just sums it all up. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, that's, that's another word you you threw out authority and man, that uh, uh, Christians need to realize who we are in Christ. Mm-hmm. And, you know, even, even he said, you know, I want you all to do even greater things than yes. I did. There you and, go. And, and we are supposed to, we have that authority. We have that same power that mm-hmm. rose Jesus from the grave. It lives in us. And so come on, come I mean, on. we have that authority and we shouldn't be walking around weak and wounded and yep. hold our head up high and know who we serve mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. with our mouths. And we have the power to, man, let's take up an offer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you preach it, you preach it. Ah, so that's, yeah. that's awesome. That's a great song. And um, awesome. Your your new album coming out April. Uh, does it have a title yet? And you tell us about yes, that. Yes, it, it does have a title. <laughs> no, no, it's not called Authority, but it's called More Than This. It's called okay. More Than This, and it's coming out like you said in April. I want to say the twenty sixth, but I could be very wrong. I don't have mm-hmm. it in front of me. Um, but it's called More Than This. It's a song. The song that that, that we decided to have the title track. It's really. I love this song. It was written. Uh, I wrote it along with uh, uh, the, Todd uh, Todd Delaney. He yeah. he wrote King of Glory, mm. and so Todd, Kyle, and myself wrote it. But Kyle, uh, should I say Todd, came up with the idea, and then we begin to 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 write this song. But it's just us coming to a place of maturity to give God more than we've ever given him before. Mm. Um, We, we both felt like what we had given him up until this point is just not enough. Yeah. And, and we got to give him everything. And and it takes the Holy spirit to even teach us how to praise God according to his greatness, you know, because he's just so great. And, and we know that one day we will be able to praise him and worship him in in the way that only he deserves but but we but even now we want to do we want to do better than we've ever done before sure. so it's it's like lord i just want to until i take my last breath can i just give you more help me mm-hmm. to give you more more than this 
And and it's, you know, this particular record, you know, Believe For It was so powerful, but Believe For It was my first, um, it was my first live record. And it happened during the pandemic when I couldn't have any people. Yeah. <laughs> the audience. <laughs> I think when I finally got, I said, now, how, Lord, how am I doing my first live record? We can't have people. Uh -huh. um, and so we finally recorded. We, we could have 50 people in the place. That's all. That's uh -huh. the, uh, that's everybody. Um, uh -huh. The crew, everybody. So we, we, we prayed and we fast asked the Lord to anoint every song so that people would, would be able to hold on to something and that their faith would grow. And, and God did it, you know. And so this time we actually have people. Um, so it's a live record. And I'm saying all of this because when you hear these voices in the audience, oh, my goodness. Mm. It is so powerful. And, and on this song, Believe For It, they sing on all of them. But some of them you can just uh, not believe for it more than this. When you hear them sing, I'll, I'll give you more, more than this. It is so heavenly. It is so powerful. So I'm excited about this album. I'm excited about That's My King. Mm. I just feel like God is going to take us to another whole level. You said the the album is called More Than This, correct? More Than This, yep. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I talked with uh, Derek Spurk a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. And, uh, he, he said, man, he's like, Jacob, belief for it was great, but I'm telling you, he's like, this album... <laughs> Coming out, yeah. it's gonna be it's part two, two point of a belief for it, but even at a higher <laughs> level. And so, uh, since you know we're allowed to have people and audiences now, have you thought about going and doing another live recording of Belief for It with a, a you know a big audience or with people? You know yeah. what? That that would be you know what, Jacob. I just had a meeting the other day, and none of us ever thought of that. Yeah, I'm going to bring that up. Yeah, yeah. because doing it, we should have did it again. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. But we had we had not thought about that. Yeah. So, uh, but I think having it because when when we do it live, and and they begin to declare, "You said it. I believe it. It's done." Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, it we're is, we're excited, and uh, so will you be posting in, or releasing any more singles leading up to it? Or, um, I think they are. Um. They they released Holy Forever just to streaming. Sure. That wasn't radio. So that's my king is really the first one. And they could be releasing more than this, maybe the title cut before the sure. record comes. Okay. I think they have not revealed that to me yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. We're looking forward to it. Um, Thank you. Well, CC, for first time guests, we like to do a quick thing called favorite things. And so I'm just going to give okay. you a word and you just tell me your favorite thing in that category. Okay. Uh, so what, uh, number one is what is your favorite food? Oh, I'm a foodie. That's, <laughs> uh, I'll go with macaroni and cheese. Okay. All right. Plain yes. and simple. Good comfort food. Uh, comfort. do you have a favorite movie? Favorite movie. Um, Oh, I got a lot of good movies. Oh, um, favorite, 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 favorite. I like the story of uh, Beaches. Okay. Yeah. It was a good, good movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there a show that you like to watch? Uh, no, I really yeah. don't have any shows that I watch. Not now. Yeah. I'm trying to think. No. Probably so Family Feud right now. You can do the Christian answer and just say The Chosen. Okay. Oh! <laughs> You know what? The Chosen is good, but I have huh. not been watching it the way yeah. I should. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I binge Jesus, okay? <laughs> that is really good, though. Yeah. I mean, I saw the first season. It is. I just think they do. I don't think you could do any better. Right. Yeah. In the stories of Jesus. It's been. All, and when I met the I met the guy. What's his name that plays Jesus? Jonathan Rumi. Oh. Um, the first time I met him, he was standing next to me and I looked at him and I said, I know you get this all the time, but I can't be next to Jesus and not speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and he was so nice and we uh, laughed and took a picture and he asked me to pray for him, you know, but I, he's doing an amazing job. Yeah, all of them are. That's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite artist of all time? Ooh, artist of all time. Andre Crouch. 
Andre Crouch. Okay. Yeah. I figured it'd be Whitney, but all right. Andre Crouch. Will work. <laughs> <laughs> Andre Crouch. Whitney, of course, is the, yeah, she's my favorite voice. She just, yeah. she is still the voice to me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you sang with a lot of people, but uh, is there a dream duet that you still are hoping for? Oh, my goodness. Um, a dream duet. It would be great to do something with Stevie Wonder. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? Ice cream flavor. Um, yes, my my favorite ice cream flavor right now is Jenny's. Um, it's it's like, a, what is it, brittle? It's one of those fancy ones. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the name of it. Oh man, let me just be simple. Get just do. Let's go with chocolate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a? Uh, this probably changes from time to time, but uh, do you have a favorite Bible verse? Bible verse. Um, Philippians four thirteen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Wonderful. Well, uh, what is next for you? Um, I know you have a women's conference coming up and yep. your album, but uh, what is next for you and how can our listeners keep up with you? Oh, wow. What's next for me? Yeah, like you said, we we have this tour that we're doing, the goodness tour that we're on right uh, about to start in the at the end of this month. And then we have the record that will be released. And then we have the conference, Generations Live. I'm going to probably do some more tapings. That will be the next thing to do more tapings of the Generations uh, YouTube show that I have with my daughter. Um, other than that, um, and touring again in the fall, um, I don't have anything else planned, but try to be grandmother somewhere in between all of this yeah. and play with these grandkids. A uh, few things that, that we'll see, we're praying on. Um, I'm celebrating 40 years of marriage this year with my oh, husband. Wow, that's incredible. And that's pretty awesome. I'm turning the big six old this year. So this is a big year for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but that's it right now. Just what we're doing in the music right now. Okay. And and touring this record. I don't know if people ask you this ever, but um would there ever be um possibility of a of a bb and cc reunion tour or something like that yes it is a very it's a it's a it's a huge possibility uh, <laughs> we haven't decided it yet but we're, we're, we're thinking about it <laughs> okay that's great so we'll see we'll see <laughs> yeah that's good <laughs> Well, Cece, to wrap up, I'd like to see if you'd be willing to share something that God's been doing in your life recently that would help build our listeners' faith. Um, wow. You know, I shared this with somebody the other day. It was, I don't, I don't think it was yesterday morning, but I think it was the morning before last that I was in my de- time of devotion. And I love the, the Bible app. They have a uh, a section in there where you just I think they call it spend time with God and and so I looked at the scripture that they had and um, then it gives you instructions to just breathe and think about anything that you're anxious about and just tell the Lord about it you know mm-hmm. and Jacob I sat there and it just hit me I said Lord I am I am anxious about nothing. And that was such a powerful moment for me. Mm-hmm. I was just, God, I actually got into the place that I really trust you with everything. Um, and I just want to encourage the listeners to, to live from a place of rest, work mm-hmm. from a place of rest, because I pray that their eyes are open and they will really see and perceive that God is sovereign. He's good. We have no reason to fear or to be anxious about anything. Let the peace of God guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Amen. Let the church say amen. (laughs) 
Uh, CC, thank you uh, so much for your for your time. And uh, more than this, your brand new album comes out in yes. April. That's my king is already out. Please stream it. And uh, uh, is this a is this an album that you're thinking to put on vinyl or? Oh, you're coming up with a lot of good ideas, <laughs> Jacob. You know, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell Derek you need to be in our meeting. <laughs> <laughs> CC bobblehead? I mean, come on. Uh, oh, now, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know. We, we haven't talked about that. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. We'll there you see. go. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thanks again, CC, for sitting down with us. And thank you again, listener, for tuning in this week. Be sure to go to ChristianMusicGuys.com this Friday uh, to see the relaunched website. Uh, check out our new merch store that's launching as well. You can find us on socials at Christian Music Guys. And we, as always, are everywhere you stream podcasts. Give us a like, review, five stars, thumbs up, everything you can do. Certainly helps us out. We appreciate it. We'll see you next week.